Whooping cough is back with a vengeance, especially here in California. Health officials are reporting that cases of whooping cough, also known as pertussis, have quadrupled compared to last year. We are the only state in the nation to report such a dramatic surge in this potentially deadly disease. Most people receive the last immunization of pertussis vaccine by age six, but a booster shot, known as TDAP or Tdap, is needed to prolong immunity. Immunity can begin to wane as early as five years after that kindergarten booster shot. That's why this immunization is so important for adolescents and adults, especially those who will have contact with newborn babies. The disease starts just like the common cold, runny nose, congestion, sneezing, and maybe a mild cough or fever. But after a week or two, severe coughing begins. Infants and children with the disease cough violently and rapidly over and over until the air is gone from their lungs and they're forced to inhale with a loud whooping sound. Whooping cough is a very contagious disease that is usually spread by coughing or sneezing while in close contact with others. Babies are most at risk because the newborn is too young to get the shot. New moms can protect their babies from this potentially fatal disease by getting vaccinated. Mothers can get a Tdap shot during pregnancy or after birth, and it is safe to be immunized while breastfeeding. In addition, make sure that anyone who lives with the baby or takes care of the baby is up to date on his or her whooping cough shots. These vaccinations should occur at least two weeks before there is contact with the infant. The best way to prevent whooping cough in children is to get them vaccinated. Some parents have declined pertussis vaccinations because of a fear that vaccines can cause autism, an idea that's been studied and rejected by scientists. The easiest thing for adults and children over the age of six is to get the Tdap booster combination instead of only a tetanus booster. Talk to your doctor about whether or not you are a candidate for the Tdap vaccine. Shots are available at your primary care doctor's office.